Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal Mr. Butter coming back at you. And today I want to get into a pair of kicks that I picked up from the Nike app. This was actually another women's exclusive, which again, I think is pretty dumb because I really like the colorway of it. I went for these in my wife's size and it said that they were sold out, but said that I could enter for another size. So then I went for my personal size and I ended up getting a W. As soon as I got these in hand, it reminded me of probably the most tight pair that I have in my collection. But I'll show you that here as we get into it. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's look at these Jordan 1 Lows in the Marina Blue colorway. Alright, so to start it out, this is a women's Jordan 1 Low release. So we got the white box with the gold jump man. We're all used to seeing that. The tag reads Women's Air Jordan 1 Low. The size is a women's 12, which equates to a men's 10 and a half. And the colors on here are white, dark marina blue, and white. And the retail price on these was $100. They were $106 altogether with tax and everything i'm hanging out with little man today so uh apologies for the background noise what's the matter i don't want hey what color are these <laughs> <laughs> okay anyhow here we have it and like i said on the intro as soon as I got this pair in hand, it really just reminded me of whenever I got the Vintage Green Dunk Lows that my wife's account hit for. And my immediate thought with those was just that should have been a full family size run. And again, with these, I feel the same way because they're not feminine. I don't know why you would limit this. I love this color this dark marina blue and i mean a jordan one low most people that i know like jordan one lows and this pair in particular i just think looks really really clean but i really really like this shade of blue and i love the shape of these shoes i think they came out really really well and for that hundred dollar price point i think these are really nice and as soon as i open the box they they immediately reminded me of another pair of shoes that is definitely the most hyped shoe that I have in my collection. And this, of course, is the Fragment Travis Scott Low, the Jordan 1 Low. And now materials on this aren't near as good as what they are on here. And obviously this one has a whole lot more hype surrounding it because anything with Cactus Jack or Travis Scott, any Travis Scott collaboration is going to have that crazy hype. But I think right now in this size, these are selling for like $1,800 or something in dead stock. And these were $106. And look at how close the blue on these shoes are. I mean, the shade of blue is really, really close. And I actually told Silent Z as soon as I opened these, I'm kind of itching to do another custom on these. Like, I'm really wondering if I could make these out to be a poor man's, you know, Travis Scott Fragment 1 low. But anyhow, let me know what you think of that in the comments. I have some ideas of some things that I might do. Um, I did my first custom here not too long ago and made a pair of Form 84s more like a Chicago color blocking. But I'm really thinking that I might turn these into these or at least just a little bit closer to this. But anyhow, that being said, right now on the resale market, the prices of these are not high at all. Like, I think that on resale i think this size like a, a women's size 12 or a men's size 10 and a half i think these are only going for like 130 bucks or something so i mean they're really affordable even if you didn't get them at retail and i think it's a dope looking shoe i mean 
obviously it doesn't look exactly like the cactus jack one but it's pretty close i mean when you're considering how far away the prices of both of them are on the resale market i think these are really slept on and i'm seriously debating doing a custom with these but anyhow starting with this outsole of course it's just a jordan one tread pattern pivot point in the front nike branding at the midfoot and it's in that dark marina blue color and it really matches the blue on the travis scott lows it's it's very very close to the same shade but then coming up to the midsole you can see that nice marina blue meets a bright white color and it's got bright white stitching and it's just done really really neat all the way around looks pretty good that's one thing i was thinking is if i could kind of get this to be more of like a sale color if i were to do the custom but i don't know i i've been doing a little bit of research and just contemplating if i want to do it or not or just leave them as they are because they look good but then coming up from that bright white midsole you can see we've got this dark marina blue leather and it does have a synthetic feel to it but it feels better than your average gr jordan one low like your non og jordan one low or your average jordan one mid it does feel like it's got better quality to it than what we typically get and i don't know if you can see or not but that leather has a little bit of a texture it's not tumbled but it's got more texture on it than what the white leather does. But anyhow, we've got that dark marina blue leather for the mudguard. And then going up the eye stays, we've got it on both swooshes. Up around the collar here in the back. And then on the bottom of the heel here. And I really like the way this wings logo pops off of there and that bright white stitching i think that looks nice but all this blue leather has just a little bit of texture on it it's not tumbled and it does feel kind of synthetic but it feels better than what we typically get on jordan one mids and jordan one lows for the base of the shoe we just have this bright white leather here on the toe box you can see those perforations like we always get and this is more of a smooth finish than what the blue leather is and we've got that on the toe box and then on the side panels and that bright white leather matches our white tongue that we have and this is like a standard nylon tongue feels just like every other Jordan 1 tongue that we have and it's got this jump man embroidered there in the dark marina blue stitching here on the little lace loop it's got a 23 in that dark marina blue and they just gave us some flat white laces with this release but i might mess around with the laces a little bit even if i don't do a custom i might swap the laces out and then another thing that i really really like about this pair is they gave us this nice like silky kind of sock liner i don't know if you can tell or not by looking at it but it's like the shiny really really smooth sock liner and i like the way that feels i think that always gives shoes like a more high-end feel and at that hundred dollar price point i really appreciate that but we've got that dark marina blue sock liner and then the insole is dark marina blue with a white jump man on it if you can see that and our tongue has that dark marina blue piping going along the edges of that too but i think these are dope let me know what you think